Vice News is reporting the number of Canadian retired soldiers getting medical marijuana from the government has increased 15-fold over the last three years, and the cost to taxpayers has jumped 5,000%. Joining me now from Halifax is Justin Ling, who's working on this story. Uh, Justin, thanks for joining us. Uh, thanks let's, for having me. let's talk about the bottom line here, and how many millions are Canadians spending on this? 20 million is going to be the figure uh, from from last year. It looks like we're going to see probably a higher figure uh, in the upcoming fiscal year. We're seeing a huge spike in the amount of the Canadian government is paying for medical marijuana for veterans. And this sort of cost is not reflected elsewhere, anywhere else in the medical marijuana industry. The cost per patient is astronomical. It's now to the point where medical marijuana is something like a third of uh, the Veterans Affairs health budget, which is, for a lot of people in the industry, completely perplexing. So how many veterans are we talking about here and what kind, like what strains of marijuana are they using? It's it's uh, something over 1,500 veterans who are uh, on the medical marijuana right now, uh, and you know there there is definitely some sort of design going into what sorts of medical marijuana they're getting. You know there are there's strains of medical marijuana that uh, can help uh, alleviate the symptoms of uh, you know That's back nice. pain. There is types that can uh, help treat uh, post traumatic stress disorder, according to some studies. So there is some sort of design going into uh, who gets prescribed what. And why are they uh, being prescribed here? Is there any indication that someone is pushing this on them or are they, uh, are they actually legitimately going and seeking this out? This is the big question. So, you know, two years ago, there was only about 100 veterans on medical marijuana. It cost the government about $400,000 a year. It was generally regarded as a pretty small but reasonable program. Now it's ballooned to so large, over 1,500 veterans, over $20 million. Uh, and there's no real clear explanation of why that's gone up so high. Uh, when it was studied by Veterans Affairs Canada and the Auditor General, it was found that just four doctors were prescribing something like half of all the medical marijuana um, prescriptions for veterans. So why is that? And we started looking into it, and this was kind of the basis of our investigation. Uh, and what we basically concluded is that it looks like there's a small, small number of consultancy clinics, like groups, uh, groups like Marijuana for Trauma, based out of New Brunswick, who are signing up veterans for medical marijuana, hooking them up with doctors, and then referring them to uh, medical marijuana uh, vendors. And there's nothing necessarily improper or illegal about this, but what we're seeing is that those mar medical marijuana vendors are either paying referral fees or helping those uh, consultancy clinics set up their own businesses to sell medical marijuana without telling veterans. So there's some real issues here. Is Veterans, concern, uh, veterans Affairs concerned about this? Are they trying to control this or contain it? Oh, they're absolutely concerned. Inside Veterans Affairs Canada, uh, my sources are basically telling me they're very worried that there seems to be no follow-up or real review of how these medical or of how these veterans are being prescribed medical marijuana, uh, which could certainly, in some cases, exacerbate post-traumatic stress disorder uh, or could lead to mental health issues. Uh, and they're very worried that they're basically getting gouged, that they're paying so much for each veteran to get medical marijuana, and there appears to be a problem. And the problem appears to be that certain companies are simply charging four, five dollars more per gram than other licensed producers that sell medical marijuana. So there's a real problem here, and Veterans Affairs Canada is in the middle of investigating it. All right, uh, Justin, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me.